before a year ago, I would say, um, for certain reasons. But uh, and I was a very social person back in my teens. So and then it, now it, it, it came back. You know what I mean? You know when they say history repeats itself. Absolutely. I can relate to that so much, Anjan. And, and uh, to be honest with you, when I first started YouTube too, I created like 20, 30 videos for like two, three months. I was sitting on it. I didn't even uh, upload it because uh, I'm personally a very, very private person. Didn't even have personal social accounts or anything like that. I've always been on social, but for business reasons, for posting the business pictures and advertising businesses, but personal never did it. So when uh, YouTube came around, I realized that a lot of a lot of stuff information that I got from YouTube so and I noticed that I was giving out a lot of information and help uh, around in personal life too and I thought to myself maybe there are people out there all, all over the world who can learn a thing or two from uh, my experiences and what I've learned having 13 plus years of uh, owning my own businesses over here uh, in, in one of the most lucrative yet competitive markets in the world. So that's the, how I started my book up, coming up with making a YouTube channel. And then when I put up the YouTube videos, I, I honestly I still, sh I did not go about advertising or telling people or telling friends, hey, I'm doing this, I'm doing that. Why? Because I simply thought to myself, uh, this YouTube I'm doing for or the YouTube community where I got the information from. If right. any of my peers in my personal life happen to be in the same community on YouTube, then we're gonna bump into each other. If mm -hmm. not, I do not see a reason forcibly putting yourself in front of someone and having to get their attention. I think it's better to hone into your craft, make quality content that people like to enjoy, whether it's scary, funny, or uh, whatever 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 content you're making if people are enjoying it then that itself is going to create the hype and word of mouth and the community is going to be drawn to it and that's that's pretty much the main reason why uh, why i started youtube and uh, uh, it took me a while to post it because uh, of that shyness having the personal thing uh, putting it out there youtube were because when i started uh, like i was literally watching your lives that's the mm -hmm. funny thing so what, when did you start exactly? So YouTube personal channel started about um, mid 2018. And then this one we started in February, mid February, this channel uh, we started it. So we, yeah, so the we, we want to push the branding channel more. And the uh, uh, reason why is because one thing I learned, Ange, uh, from the previous personal channel, uh, you notice my content was a bit different. It's similar, but may, different than the content we're doing now. Uh, I realized that people don't like being told, even if it's the information that's going to help them to advance. Like, for example, if you tell someone, go get that shovel and put dig a hole under that tree, there is like, for example, you'll find a barrel of El Chapo's cash buried, for example. <laughs> but but, uh, but like, uh, there, like if you tell 200 people, hmm? like 95 of them won't even go do it. There are going to be some yeah, people to do it. So I realized that me telling people how to, for example, make money, how to hire, how to fire, how to do business, how to choose a location. Yeah. Didn't didn't it wasn't interesting for people to watch. I would spend 20 hours make a video, it would get 20 views. But you know what, Thor? It's funny because mm -hmm. Gary V, you know Gary V? Absolutely, Gary Vaynerchuk. Uh, Gary, one of my... Gary. Uh -huh. Recently I've been following him a lot and I love his statements and I, I live by it right now. Vayner Media. Yeah, he's just a great guy. Great guy. He knows what he's talking about. He knows that. Shout out to him, Gary V. Oh, if you're cool. watching this, me, I, 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 Angie and I would love to have you as our guest. So let us know. Exactly. Go ahead, you know what, Gore? You're, what you said is crisp. It's exactly what's going on right now. Mm. People are scared to put what put out what they want to put out because they know that oh, I won't get the attention as if I were if I were to uh, I don't know have a like uh, what do you call it uh, a booty dancer. You know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. if, they, what you say? like if I were to do something controversial, it would get much more views, right? Or if this I would have some big influencer or some big celebrity, or if I talk about a big celebrity, I'll get much more views. Uh, they do that instead of doing the stuff they want. So my question is, why do you do that? You're supposed to be doing YouTube because you like to do it, right? Absolutely. Maybe, maybe it's about the money for them. I don't know. But the whole point is you're supposed to be doing it because you like to do it. And when you do something you like, it becomes much easier. Yes. 
Yes, and I uh, I read a quote a quote like that actually yesterday. Uh, it, it it it's it's similar to in a, in a in a sports field. They said, uh, I I I love to play the game, yeah. uh, for the game, not for the trophies. Okay. So tro having the trophies is a bystander of you being good at it and the way you be become good at anything is first loving to do it and then doing it so much repetitive and you know repetition is the mother of all uh, uh, uh success so yeah. if you love practice. something you're gonna get to repeat it and you repeat it enough time you practice it you're gonna get better at that so that's why the, the, what you said is right on if you yeah. if you don't love doing youtube even if you're doing youtube as business to make money you for you you're gonna be in 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 um you're better off opening a business yeah, I put exactly. it to this way because it's going to take you years to get the money. I personally, uh, it's an internal uh, um, dialect I'm having. I'm I'm very business oriented. Like I look at everything in a business with a business perspective, including YouTube. But at the same time, I have a personal love for YouTube. That if I were not to get paid from it, for me, it's worth it to know Angie in Quebec when I go over there, go have a beer with him. Like to me, it's worth it, dude. You, if, as an example, you, you get what I mean? So that networking right there is uh, YouTube is a very, very great tool to network. Yeah. And people, people mix up network with profit. You don't necessarily have to go network for the sake of profit. You can network for the sake of um what's the right word favors favors where